I didn't uh, choose this bike to go for a world tour. Uh, I chose this bike for some personal reasons. Uh, I was in love with the guy who was riding a Harley Davidson. So uh, suddenly I fell in love with the Harley Davidson concept uh, and I said that I need a Harley in my life. Hey, uh, I'm Elena Axinte, aka Hele Biker, as you can find me on social media. I'm Romanian, based in Italy. So in uh, August 2019, I, um, I started this new life on the road <clears throat> from Italy, Milan. And then I crossed uh, part of Europe, East Europe, the Balkans, uh, and then from Greece, Turkey. From Turkey, I found my, uh, let's call it, gate to Middle East, to the new chapter. Uh, I entered by sea to Lebanon. I crossed Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Oman, Yemen, all the Gulf countries, Qatar, uh, Kuwait, Bahrain. And then from Iraq, Iran, Pakistan and um, finally in November 2022 I entered India. I spent a few months here in India, then I entered uh, Bangladesh, I spent a few months there, I took a new visa for India and here I am back to India because I have so much to discover in this country. This is my first bike ever, before this I never drove uh, even a scooter, nothing. I didn't uh, choose this bike to go for a world tour. Uh, I chose this bike for some personal reasons. Uh, I was in love with the guy who was riding a Harley Davidson. So uh, suddenly I fell in love with the Harley Davidson concept uh, and I said that I need a Harley in my life. Then with this bike, I discovered traveling, I discovered the road. So it was by default that I will go with this bike, no matter the, I don't know, the skills or uh, whatever uh, the, the options this bike uh, have, no? I said that I will go wherever this bike can bring me. We are a team together, so I didn't want to betray it to go for something better after this bike taught me what means traveling and what means this new life. Um, India has a special place because this was, as I said, the warm up. Um, it's not a very easy country um, as a biker, um, as an outsider, no? as a foreigner coming from Europe, Europe especially. Because of uh, the traffic you have to adapt and uh, the long distances. It's a huge country, but I cross it almost all from north to south, from south to mm, now almost north. So, um, what to say? You have to adapt to this country. You love it or you leave it. And I love it. That's why it's the third time here in the country. And uh, I never have any problem as in safety matters. I even camped um, around alone on the beaches south. So, um, despite the people are telling me, locals, no, be careful, it's danger here, it's danger there. I never had any feeling of uh, being in danger or something like that. And uh, to be very honest, I will tell you that for me, the most difficult moments are those moments when I have to say goodbye to people. Uh, my journey is about people, so the connection with people. Otherwise, what I can say, the most difficult things are paperwork, logistics, and maybe some bad roads, but I never had uh, an experience that I will look back and say, wow, that was the worst experience ever. And the best experiences are, again, related with people. Uh, for four years, I never stayed in a hotel. This is my big challenge to do the world tour without any uh, commercial accommodation. Everywhere I go, I'm hosted by locals. So this is my best experience that I find my home and my place everywhere I go, like it's there waiting for me. As landscape, let's say, like elements and the scenery, my favorite place ever is the desert anywhere in the world. Of course, the Arab desert, it's one of my uh, deep, uh, with, uh, I have the deepest connection with. Um, so those are my best, my, my highest moments, let's say, from this journey. When I was camping alone in the middle of the desert with hundreds of kilometers, now nobody around me, just me with my motorcycle. And um, it's that moment where I felt like more in peace than ever in my life. I'm very lucky, I consider myself a low-profile rider, I'm not a very good skilled biker, but uh, I was very lucky because I never had like um, important uh, problems with this bike. I dropped it a million times, but nothing serious, I just drop it on uh, off-road, uh, braking, and, uh, because it's very heavy, so I, I drop it so many times. I never have any accident, fortunately, thanks God, I hope it will continue like this. My main aim is to live like this on the road as much as possible, to connect with people of the world as much as possible, and to do it as long as I feel to do it. So to live my life uh, 
at maximum, let's say, uh, with my bike on the road connected with the people of the world. So what I've learned from people uh, on these four years on the road is that um, the world is not going that bad as uh, they are trying to picture it us. Uh, and uh, there is a, such a big part of the good side of the world. People are good everywhere. I met good people. I learned so much about uh, how to be generous and how to adapt to this world, how to be tolerant and um, how to find your best place in this world. This I learned only staying with people and only from them. And this gives me the chance to see the world exactly how it is, but not through the eyes of someone else, not through the eyes of media. So the best way to learn about the world is to see it with your own eyes and to pass it by your own filter. I always say that uh, you don't have to take a motorcycle and go around the world to fulfill your life. Not everyone has to do what I'm doing, but um, my very um, sincere advice is that everyone has to go uh, deep inside, to dig inside and to find that thing that can bring it, get big fulfillment in life, to find a mission in life, to find their goals, because only when you know what you want, you can achieve it. Find that thing that will bring you peace, harmony and fulfillment in your life. This is the most important, to don't just sleepwalking on the, in this life. I, the biker Elena Axinte.